hello all welcome back to our channel so we will continue our discussion on high speed designs so in this video we will talk about uh, uh, the power distribution network uh, which we call uh, pdn in short so for any embedded board we require uh, power to be provided to it to enable its operation right so the power uh, when we say is like we will we provide a voltage and uh, the load that is connected to the <coughs> voltage draws the current so ultimately <coughs> we calculate the total power that is drawn by the board right so while we have been discussing about uh, uh, the signals here in signal integrity um, in high speed designs all these signals that propagate from driver to the receiver require some voltage level and this voltage level depends on uh, uh, the supply that we provide to the board so this supply is um, generated by the voltage regulators that are there on the board so you have some common power to the board uh, as the input and from then on uh, we have regulators on the board which we call them voltage regulator modules which generate uh, different voltage levels and then those voltages are routed to the ICs uh, and uh, they draw the current. <coughs> so the, uh, again based on these uh, uh, voltage supplies there will be different logic levels we will talk about them further. So it is uh, important that um, when we talk about signal integrity, we ha also have to talk about uh, uh, the voltage levels as well, right? Now, uh, when there are voltage rails that are generated from these uh, uh, particular uh, uh, voltage regulator modules, uh, they will be routed to different parts of the board like uh, uh, they could uh, uh, provide 3.3 volts which would, which would go to some particular IC they could uh, <coughs> provide 1.8 they could provide 1.2 similarly there will be number of modules right so number of uh, power supplies so these supplies they can be uh, a plane or they can be an individual trace right so from voltage regulator module we should route these uh, uh, voltages uh, voltage rails to the respective um, ICs on the board so the voltage regulator modules and then the traces the planes whether it be power plane or ground plane and then the wires that are there on these particular uh, <coughs> traces all these combined together form a power distribution network that means how the power is distributed across the network could be known by uh, the uh, uh, enabling a particular section of a voltage uh, when we are using some tool right so those all constitute a uh, power distribution network so this power distribution network uh, is also called a power delivery network so if uh, uh, you uh, you have designed a board you generally use regulators on the board whether it be buck regulator or whether it be LDOs whatever based on your requirement these regulators are selected by you but when it comes to uh, performing uh, simulations of this power distribution network to see how they are behaving how this uh, power network is behaving, uh, where there is more power concentrated, where there is lesser power concentrated. So to, to get to know all these, we perform power integrity analysis. So when we talked about signal integrity, signal integrity talked about uh, maintaining uh, the signal as is when it is driven from driver to receiver, right? We should maintain that integrity of the signal. Similarly, when we have a power that is delivered from regulator uh, to these ICs, the integrity of that power should be maintained. There should not be any noise that should come up. So, 
uh, we have power integrity uh, analysis tools as a uh, in hyperlinks or uh, some other tools so <clears throat> this uh, uh, power integrity analysis is uh, when we do this power integrity analysis, uh, uh, these regulators are modeled as uh, uh, voltage regulator modules, VRM. So that's where uh, uh, when we use PDM, we use a term VRM. So the, this actually, even though during the circuit design, we don't use this terminology, this terminology comes from um, the tools. And then, um, while we have talked that uh, uh, the power distribution network constitutes the uh, uh, regulators, the planes, uh, the connectivity, and then the capacitors, all these, right, wires, all these. So all these constitute uh, a network. Now, if let us assume there is a, a voltage module and we have some single trace connected uh, from this uh, uh, particular uh, uh, voltage regulator module to AIC, even that also comes under um, a power distribution, it's not just uh, uh, huge planes uh, and all. So uh, the user need to understand that point. And then the ultimate aim, as we talked, is maintaining the signal integrity between the driver and the receiver. So uh, while you have um, the resistor terminations, whatever, series, parallel with different termination we talked right in the previous videos if you use all these kinds of terminations as per the need of circuit uh, and then you think you are confident that your board is going to pass uh, um, your functionality criteria uh, then you might be mistaken it's just not uh, the uh, terminations that are going to help it's also uh, the supplies that are there on the board should be proper and uh, they should be routed without much noise um, induced onto them. So, example, if you have a 1.2 volt core rail on your uh, um, processor board, and if you have a too much noise such that it is uh, uh, fluctuating between 1.4 and 1 volt, uh, then uh, there is uh, <clears throat> a problem with respect to your uh, uh, functionality of your core because um, you have uh, you, your uh, uh, processor must have specified uh, tolerances for this particular voltage rail and it should not um, the noise should not uh, uh, affect the rail such that it goes beyond the specification so it's very important that we maintain um, that uh, uh, power integrity the power rail uh, in its stable form such that we will have a a proper high speed board design functionality so if you ask me signal when you are talking about uh, uh, high speed designs and if you are mentioning signal integrity at the same time you should also parallelly uh, talk about the power integrity so hope we just gave a glimpse of uh, uh, power distribution network and why we should consider power integrity uh, please post your questions uh, please let us know if you are looking for any further information. Please share your uh, knowledge, uh, post your comments if you have seen uh, any other issues. Please like our video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.